Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX's B-14 has just completed a powerful static fire test, marking a crucial milestone just 20 days after Flight 6. But that's not even the biggest story. We've got our first glimpse of the revolutionary Starship Fish 2, and the upgrades are absolutely incredible. The next mission, Flight 7, is shaping up to be a game changer. S-33 will be the pioneer of the V-2 series, featuring completely redesigned flaps, enhanced heat shields, and some fascinating modifications that could revolutionize how Starship performs during re-entry. The timeline is accelerating faster than expected, with B-14 already moved to the Mega Bay for final preparations and S-33's static fire test on the horizon, we might see this historic launch even sooner than the projected January 11th date. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're diving deep into the groundbreaking changes SpaceX is implementing for Flight 7, including the improved fuel-to-mass ratio, repositioned payload doors, and a fascinating update on the catch mechanism that could finally perfect the landing sequence. Let's dive right in. The transformation of B-14 and S-33 represents SpaceX's most ambitious evolution yet. At Starbase, engineers are working around the clock on what could be the most significant Starship upgrade since the program began. The recent transfer of B-14 from the launch pad to the Mega Bay isn't just a routine movement. It's the beginning of a critical series of modifications that will define the future of space travel. Inside the Mega Bay, B-14 is undergoing a comprehensive systems check that would make any aerospace enthusiast's heart race. The engine grid fin system, a crucial component for controlled descent, is being fine-tuned with precision that would impress even veteran rocket scientists. The hot staging ring installation, a particularly delicate process, will push the boundaries of what's possible in rocket separation technology. But the real star of this show is S-33, the first V-2 prototype that's about to change everything we thought we knew about spacecraft design. The upgrades aren't just incremental improvements, they're revolutionary changes that could redefine our approach to space exploration. The flap system has been completely reimagined with larger control surfaces that promise unprecedented maneuverability during re-entry. The heat shield modifications aren't just about surviving the return journey, they're about making it routine. Speaking of challenges, SpaceX is taking a bold approach with the landing sequence for Flight 7. Remember that steep landing angle from previous flights? Well, they're pushing it even further this time. The engineering team has calculated that this more aggressive approach will provide valuable data about the limits of Starship's capabilities. It's a calculated risk that could pay massive dividends for future missions. The V-2's expanded fuel tanks aren't just about carrying more propellant. They're about expanding possibilities. By pushing the payload door higher up the vessel, SpaceX has achieved something remarkable. A better fuel-to-mass ratio that could extend Starship's range significantly. For missions without major payloads, this extra fuel capacity opens up new opportunities for testing engine performance and multi-engine burns in space. Since Mr. Banana made history as the first Starship passenger, speculation has been rife about what, or who, might be next. While I won't fan the flames of rumors, let's just say that the larger payload capacity of V2 opens up some fascinating possibilities. The engineering team has been unusually tight-lipped about this particular detail, which usually means something interesting is in the works. One of the most intriguing modifications in his 33 and subsequent V2 models is the relocated lifting point. Moving it to the next payload bay isn't just an aesthetic choice. It's a strategic decision that could revolutionize how Starship handles during critical maneuvers. This adjustment maintains better balance during all flight phases, especially crucial given the new flap configurations that had to be redesigned around the chopstick connection system. The catch attempt plan for Flight 7 builds on valuable lessons learned from Flights 5 and 6. After the communication system issues that prevented the catch during Flight 6, SpaceX has implemented redundant communication channels and enhanced the reliability of both the booster and catching system. The grid fin system on B-14 has been fortified based on data from previous flights, with particular attention paid to the moments of highest stress during the descent phase. 
At Starbase, the anticipation is palpable. The integration testing between B14 and S33 will be the most comprehensive yet, with new protocols developed specifically for V2's unique characteristics. The January 11th launch target seems ambitious, but sources close to the project suggest that SpaceX might surprise us with an even earlier date, pending successful completion of the remaining tests. Looking beyond Flight 7, the reveal of S-35's nose cone gives us a tantalizing glimpse into SpaceX's future plans. The improvements in the flap-to-ship joining system are particularly noteworthy, a direct response to the challenges faced during Flight 4's re-entry phase. The even installation of the edge tiles and the seamless integration with the ship's body demonstrates SpaceX's commitment to perfecting every detail. The development timeline for these prototypes tells its own story. While S-33 took 32 days from first part appearance to complete stack, the efficiency of the production process has improved significantly. With S-35's nose cone unveiled on December 10th, we're looking at a potential late January completion date. Perfect timing for its planned role in Flight 9. Speaking of Flight 9, it's positioned to be a pivotal moment in the Starship program. While Flight 7 will test ocean landing capabilities and Flight 8 might attempt a ship catch, depending on Flight 7's results, Flight 9 is being prepared as a definitive ship catch mission. The pressure is on for S-35 and B-16 to deliver a perfect performance. The hardware progress on both fronts is remarkable. B-16's components are nearly all assembled in the Mega Bay, suggesting that SpaceX is maintaining an aggressive development pace. This progress aligns perfectly with their ambitious goal of 25 flights next year, a target that seemed almost impossible just months ago. FAA regulatory developments are also working in SpaceX's favor. Recent congressional pressure has highlighted the need for streamlined approval processes, especially for companies pushing the boundaries of space technology. The establishment of the Space Aerospace Rulemaking Committee, SPARC, signals a potential shift toward more efficient licensing procedures, crucial for SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule. The timeline for these regulatory changes couldn't be more critical. With plans for 25 launches from Starbase and 44 from Florida, the pressure is mounting for faster approval processes. The letter from Representatives Sam Graves and Rob Whitman to FAA Administrator Michael Whitaker emphasizes the urgent need for reform particularly in reducing the extensive pre-application review period that can stretch for months or even years. The transformation of the licensing process isn't just about paperwork, it's about maintaining America's competitive edge in space exploration. As other nations ramp up their space capabilities, the ability to launch frequently and efficiently becomes increasingly crucial. SPARC's 24-member committee, including representatives from major private space companies, represents a significant step toward modernizing the regulatory framework. As we look ahead to 2024, SpaceX's Starship program stands at a defining moment. The upcoming Flight 7 isn't just another launch. It's a testament to rapid innovation and relentless progress. From the revolutionary V2 design changes to the enhanced landing capabilities, every modification brings us closer to regular, reliable space travel. The FAA's evolving approach, pushed forward by congressional support, signals a new era in space exploration. With 25 planned launches from Starbase and 44 from Florida, we're witnessing the dawn of frequent space access becoming reality. The regulatory reforms through SPARC could be the key to unlocking this ambitious future. What excites me most is how each advancement, from S-33's improved heat shields to B-14's enhanced grid fin system, builds upon previous lessons learned. This isn't just about creating better rockets. It's about forging the path to making space travel as routine as air travel. If you're as passionate about space exploration as we are at Elon Musk 24 Hours, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Drop your thoughts about these exciting developments in the comments below. I'd love to hear your predictions about Flight 7's upcoming challenges and innovations. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who need to know about these groundbreaking developments. Remember, we're not just watching history unfold, we're witnessing the future of humanity's journey to the stars.
Stay tuned to Elon Musk 24 Hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's remarkable journey. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. In a stunning turn of events, what seemed like the end of Starship's Flight 6 has become one of SpaceX's most intriguing recovery operations. When the upper stage exploded during ocean splashdown, most space enthusiasts thought those precious engineering insights were lost forever to the depths of the Indian Ocean. But SpaceX had other plans. Not only did they successfully recover major components of the spacecraft, but the retrieved pieces revealed something remarkable that could revolutionize future missions. The recovered heat shield tiles and pressure vessels tell a fascinating story of survival against extreme forces of atmospheric re-entry, and they're in better condition than anyone expected. From the dramatic ocean recovery to the groundbreaking discoveries that followed, this is the untold story of how SpaceX turned a spectacular explosion into a valuable learning opportunity that's shaping the future of Starship development. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for the latest SpaceX developments and space exploration news. Let's dive right in. The story of Flight 6's recovery begins not in the ocean, but in mission control, where the team watched with bated breath as Super Heavy Booster 13 came to life. The launch pad rumbled as 33 Raptor engines ignited in a carefully orchestrated sequence, each one adding its voice to a symphony of raw power. For Sarah Chen, the lead engineer of the Heat Shield design team, this moment represented three years of innovations and sleepless nights. Her team's latest thermal protection system was about to face its ultimate test. As the massive rocket pierced through the morning clouds, leaving a brilliant plume in its wake, veteran mission controller Mike Rodriguez noticed something unusual on his telemetry readings. The engines were performing better than predicted, much better. The data streaming across his screen suggested they had somehow achieved a 2.3% increase in efficiency over previous flights. This unexpected boost would later prove crucial to the mission's most surprising discoveries. The moment of stage separation arrived at T plus two minutes and 50 seconds. In the control room, you could hear a pin drop as Booster 13 executed its choreographed detachment from Ship 31. The separation occurred with surgical precision, but thermal cameras caught an intriguing anomaly, a brief unexpected flash of light that would later become a vital clue in understanding the vehicle's survivability. While previous missions had focused on booster recovery, B-13's journey would be different. SpaceX had made the bold decision to let this booster perform a water landing, sacrificing hardware to gain unprecedented data about descent dynamics. As B-13 began its graceful fall toward the Gulf of Mexico, it transmitted a wealth of information that would challenge several long-held assumptions about rocket aerodynamics. Meanwhile, Ship 31 continued its ascent, carrying not just hardware, but the hopes of countless engineers, scientists, and space enthusiasts. As it crossed